Hello my little butterflies and today's video is going to be my January wrap up. So you guys in the month of January I think I had a really really good reading month and I don't mean just quantity wise but I mean like quality wise like I read just about all the books I read were really good except for like one of them but all together I read four books which isn't a lot to some people but four books for me is a lot for me to read in one month because usually I might read one or two books a month so four books for me is really really good and I hope I can keep this up because I've just been going crazy reading and I've been I've just been going book to book to book and the first book that I read in the month of January and actually I started in December but I finished it in the month of January is Sugar by DJ Rowden Hall and I gave this book a four out of five stars and it was really 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 good like I love this book so much it's a young adult contemporary book which, you know, I don't usually read a lot of contemporary books. And this month, I actually read, I think, three contemporary books out of the four books that I read. So, see, I'm, like, broadening my horizon on reading because I don't usually like too, too many, like, much mushiness in a book. And this just opened my eyes and just, like, told me, like, contemporary isn't all just mushy. So, we follow this girl named Mercy. Her real name is Mercy, but everyone calls her Sugar in a book. And she is just in a really bad, like life situation she's a big girl so she gets bullied when she goes to school all the time like it's merciless and then she goes home and gets bullied also by her family um her mother is is bad written she's to me she reminds me um of the show my 600 pound life she's she's like that big she's in the bed she depends on sugar to take care of her and everything her older brother skunk doesn't do anything but bully her and he like physically bullies her not just not just mentally and emotionally, he physically bullies her. He, he'll punch her in the face, call her names, call her fat, which he's also big himself. So, but he takes on a bully role with her too and also bullies her and makes her feel like she isn't anything pretty much. And her mother always tears her down telling her, you know, you're not anything. You're not, you're not going to be anything. You're going to be just like me. So, and, and we follow her through this journey throughout the book where she is kind of, you know, trying to find herself because she eats she's that eater that eats to you know make herself feel better like she it, when she's feeling bad she eats she binge eats and then after she feels terrible about herself binge eating like that is that's the kind of eater she is and then she ends up meeting this boy named evan but his name is spelled even because his father was illiterate and his mother died giving birth to him so it's up to him to spell his name but his name is evan and he kind of helps her on the way to actually finding herself and to show her that you know you're not what everyone says you are. You have to be what you think you are. You don't. You can't listen to everyone else. He helps her find herself and, and shows her that you're a really good girl. It doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. So that's what this book is about, and it's really, really good. Now I never read Dumplin', but um, from listening to other people talk about it, this to me kind of resembles Dumplin' in in the way that you know she's a big girl trying to find her way. So I think you. Like, I would recommend this book. It was. Re I really love this book. I gave this a four out of five stars because I really did like it. Okay, and it's it's really good and it's kind of emotional too because you feel really bad for her reading this, but I think you guys should definitely pick it up. It's really good. The second book that I read in the month of January, and I'm so proud that I finally got to this book because I've been saying for the last like year, a little bit over a year and a half, that I wanted to start this series. And this book was so freaking amazing. I can't wait to read the second book. I can't wait to read the second I can't wait to finish the series. And the book I'm talking about is Cinder by Marissa Myers, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles, and this book was so good you guys i gave this book a five out of five stars like i really loved this book and i didn't think i was going to enjoy it as much as i did so um this is pretty much a retelling of cinderella and i i don't like cinderella cinderella is not one of my favorite fairy tales just because i feel like she's a pushover but this book was really fucking good like i love this version of cinderella so much better Okay, so with Cinder, Cinder's actually a cyborg in here, which I thought really made me want to read it, because I'm like, that sounds awesome. Like, I've never read anything like that. It's a young adult kind of fantasy sci-fi novel, I want to say. Okay, um, but it's it, it has a lot of action in it. It's really, really good. Um, you know, you have the, the stepmother and the stepsisters, but it's a good twist on the stepsisters, but I really enjoyed the two stepsisters having totally different personalities because in the real Cinderella, both of them are just mean and nasty. So I like in this book that they have two totally different personalities that one is actually really sweet and really nice and the other one is just the mean and nasty stepsister, which I don't mind. The only thing that I wish that I would have gotten more out of this book 
is actually um the stepmother being more like evil i guess like i just picture she would be more nastier and evil in this book it wasn't enough for me to take a star off for but that's just something i wish that would have happened i wish she would have just been more nasty and uglier in the book but you guys i just cannot wait to get to start reading the second book and i cannot wait to finish this damn series like me start at first i was kind of scared because you know this book has so much hype around it this series has so much hype around it i was gonna i was scared i was gonna read it and i wasn't gonna like it but i fucking fell in love with this with this book i cannot wait to, i hope the rest of the series goes along just as good i hope so because i'm gonna be really disappointed and heartbroken if it doesn't so guys wish me luck the next two books that I actually read in the month of January were actually arcs that I got from Nat Galley and um, I had them on my Kindle. The first book that I actually got from Nat Galley and that I actually finished reading, and I loved it so much, and it was my first book reading from this author, and I hear so many good things about her, was My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella, and I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. And I love this book so much. It comes out February 7th. It was so good. Now, all of these books that I'm talking about, I actually did reviews for on Goodreads. I didn't make any videos. I'm about to start making my videos again for my reviews. But for these, I actually did them on my blog and I put them on Goodreads. Guys, this book was so good. I see why all the hype, with all the hype is surrounding Sophie Kinsella. Because this book was so freaking good, you guys. I love this book so much. And I also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It was so freaking good. And this is a new adult contemporary book. I love this book so much. Now I cannot wait to start reading her Shopaholic series. Because I think I can relate to that. Because I am a Shopaholic. You guys should definitely go check out my review for this book. And it, again, it comes out February 7th. So you guys should go buy it. It's like so good. But look at my review first and they go by drama in this book and it just really made me excited to read more stuff from her so I cannot wait to read more from this author and the last book that I read in January and I actually finished it on February 1st but I'm counting it with my wrap up and it was also an art that I got from that gallery and it is called Love and Gravity by Sarah Soto I think it's how you pronounce that name I'm not sure but forgive me if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong with this book this is a book that I said I kind of it kind of let me down. It was a, it's, I gave it a three out of five stars, and it is like an adult sci-fi romancey kind of book. And this book let me down so much because the synopsis of this book was so good, and it made me want to read this book. And it has so much potential behind it because it's supposed to be like a time traveling sci-fi novel. And, and it's kind of like a love interest between Isaac Newton, right? Isaac Newton and this girl named Andrea. And this is like 300 years apart, okay? So, and that's what, it, and it's kind of like a love triangle between Andrea and Isaac Newton and her best friend, Nate, okay? So to me, I'm like, oh, this would be a great, you know, love triangle because it's like he's like 300 years in the past, okay? Like she's having you know to choose between someone that she probably will never be with that's 300 years in the past and a person that's right here in front of her okay so to me i'm like oh my god this is like a great freaking love triangle you know traveling back and forth in between isaac newton and this guy and 
I think the author really fell short on it. Like, this could have been so great. It had so much good potential in it. Had me just pumped up from reading the synopsis and then you asked to read the book and it's just so much stuff just fell short for me. And I think y'all should go look at my review because I did do a review for this also, of course. Because, you know, I got it from that guy, my honest review. And I kind of felt bad giving it the 3 out of 5 stars because it's like it has so much potential with it and it like it hurt my heart because i'm like oh my god i just knew this book was going to be great i knew this book was going to be like a five out of five so i'm having pumped up but it didn't it felt so short there's just so many things in this there was just so many things in here that i didn't understand that i feel like didn't need to be in it that really just messed it up that you know she missed the mark on a lot of things so Go look at my review. I wouldn't recommend this book when it comes out, but this book also comes out February 7th because I feel like it's a disappointing read. So I wouldn't recommend this book to anyone. Uh, I think it needs a lot more work on it plot-wise. And, um, but you guys should go read my review and see what all of my thoughts were for this book. So you guys, that was my January wrap-up. Thank you guys for watching my video. I had a really good reading month quality-wise this month. I hope the same thing happens for February because I really really did enjoy the books that I read. Please you guys go and check my reviews out on my blog and I'm going to link those down below because I really want you guys to read my full thoughts and know my real fit, my true feelings on these books you guys so definitely go check out my blog. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!